right in the shoulder. So for rifle selection, most of you guys know me as a bow guy. I still love messing with rifles and setting up rifles and reloading. Uh, this particular rifle I built last year uh, for my wife and my step boy to, to shoot their elk with. This is a Savage Ultralight 280 Ackley Improved. I grew up shooting a 280 Remington. I'm a big seven millimeter fan. And so that's why I kind of gravitated towards a 280 AI. The one thing that really caught my eye is this proof barrel. It's a carbon barrel on a Savage platform. And man, talk about affordability. I actually went through the steps and I bought this gun myself. Uh, I paid 1,285 bucks for it, I believe. And the purpose of this rifle, once again, is to be high powered enough to really hammer those elk, but not too crazy that, um, you know, my wife and 12 year old step boy can shoot this comfortably. Uh, that's the biggest thing when it comes, especially to new hunters or new shooters uh, to, to be aware of is the recoil. Uh, it's very easy for a new shooter to develop a flinch or jerk the trigger if they're scared of getting beat up by recoil of, of the, the rifle. Now a 280 AI isn't necessarily the highest power. It's not a 7 mag, it's not a 300 wind mag, but you know I'm still pushing a 143 grain bullet, a 3150, so it's a hammer. Uh, so I, I put a muzzle brake on this rifle. Uh, all these Savage Ultralights come threaded so you can put a brake uh, on there or a suppressor if you wanted to. Uh, the brake obviously takes a lot of recoil out. This is the Rock Slide TI. It's a titanium muzzle brake. So you don't really feel that it's there. It, it doesn't, it, there's no weight on the front of the barrel. So that's something to keep in mind. It really takes the recoil out of this rifle. This thing has recoil like a 243 as is, and this is a 7.65 pound rifle. And it, it just, the recoil is phenomenal. The downside is don't try to shoot this without ear protection because it's gonna blow your ears out, just even in the field. Uh, at the range, it's terrible when you're kind of in an enclosed area, but even in the field, it's a bell ringer. Let's just put it that way. Now, you might wonder why I have this little scope on here. I, I wanted to follow and stay true to the, the ultralight build of this rifle. This is an ultralight. It's a light gun as it is. So I didn't want a 30 millimeter tube and a big scope that's going to weigh more than the, the gun. So I have a SIG Whiskey 3 4 to 12 by 40. Uh, technically, there's nothing special about this rifle scope. Uh, it's a $200 scope. But SIG just happens to make very quality products and we're spoiled these days where you can get economic priced scopes that are still premium quality. This has a, a BDC reticle, it has the ballistic hashes in it. And so I think that's also important to factor in uh, when it comes to your setup. I'm not a turret guy. Uh, I've, I've been a guide for over 10 years and I've seen turrets fail on the most, the premium rifle scopes, I've seen turrets fail in, in bad weather. And so I stay away from turrets. Uh, once again, my personal preference, uh, they, they work well for a lot of guys. And if you're a long range shooter, they're kind of a necessity. Uh, but hash marks are good for us uh, out to 500 yards. You put the correct hash on that deer elk or antelope and you're going to hit where you're aiming. So once again, Savage Ultralight, this gun is an absolute killer. Uh, I have done some reloading for it, but last year it harvested two antelope and three elk, four elk, five elk, two cow elk and three bulls. And so this gun performed exactly how I expected it to perform. And once again, it, it could be a good option for, for you. You don't have to spend five, six, seven thousand dollars on a rifle. Twelve hundred bucks for the, the rifle, a couple hundred for the scope, bases, bipod, another few hundred, and you're hunting and we're dealing with sub MOA accuracy. So this is the rifle of Beyond the Grid. I love this rifle and I'm sure you'll see it in seasons coming up because we plan on using it again here in 2022.